Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are, whenever you are. Thank you for watching my videos. I'm here in Dubai, 4.30 right now here. And where I'm from, which is Chile, it's actually 8.30. So that's why I say good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are, and whenever you are. Right? So for those who just are wondering what that's all about. So yes, I might be ahead of you guys, but I can't predict the future just yet. Let's start this off right here. There we go. With this Bitcoin monthly returns, I, I mean, it's not the greatest thing to um, use the average of something to determine whether or not we're gonna have like a positive or, or, or negative month, but what you can see, right, the odds of us having multiple negative months on Bitcoin are, are pretty low, right? Yes, it does happen, right? It does happen. We do have multiple negative months, sometimes even going to the years. So, but on average, we get more, we get, um, uh, you know, only one or two um, negative months at, in a row. So maybe, maybe this might be a positive month, but again right we can go this going looking down yeah it's, odds are this is going to be a positive month but this is all at average and it's not i don't think it's acceptable to use as a as a, a tool to um determine whether or not the next month is going to be a positive one but it's fun <laughs> so it's fun to gamble so we had a massive negative 35 percent. so maybe we'll see um, a positive um, percentage here close but don't expect much but the, hey positive is positive all right so let's head over to the next article which I found very interesting uh, uh, uh Charlie Hopkins says crypto promised to overtake the entire financial market here's when Okay, this is this is interesting, and I'm really excited. That's why you know you gotta be you gotta be heavy in crypto, heavy, heavy, right? I mean, no financial advice, of course, right? Please do your own research. But you know, I, I've, I'm heavy into crypto, and you can you can decide whether or not you should be heavy in crypto. Crypto is an industry that's uh, antidote to the uh, the excesses, corruption, and nepotism that we find. Yes, yes. Thank you. There's just so much corruption in our current financial system. It's beyond belief. Uh, an example of that is the Bank of New York Mellon. Are you aware that um, they got caught stealing from um, your your uh, retirement funds? And once they got caught stealing, they're supposed to, people were supposed to go to jail. They're supposed to stop doing it, right? And nobody went to jail. They didn't, not only did nobody stop doing it, but what got, what was like mind blowing was that no, nobody went to jail and they didn't stop doing it. They actually had to change the law to allow them to steal from your, steal from your retirement fund. Because if they didn't, they would collapse and cause another 2008 crisis. <laughs> How's the, how do you like them apples? <laughs> And that's our financial system. Isn't it great? <laughs> oh, man. That's why, that's why when you ever hear regulation, just remember what it means is I get to steal from you and you don't get to steal from me. Right? That's what it is. It means the banks get to steal from you and you don't get to steal from them. That's all it is. Right? Or more of like, Hey, you know what? Uh, those guys are committing crimes over there, and they should be doing that. We should be doing that, and uh, you shouldn't. <laughs> oh, damn! It's funny. The markets, right? Crypto markets, of course, are, are too large. The innovation is simply too vast. And it's going. It's going to happen. I mean, we're going to. We're going to take over. It's time, right? It's, um, there's a saying, right? You cannot stop an idea whose time has come. You guys, the, the banking system, all JP Morgan, uh, the, the, what's it called? The vampire squid, uh, uh, Go Goldman Sachs, 
right? Your time to suck wealth out of the world has ended. It's ended. You have a very limited window to suck everything out that you can because in the end, we're gonna be get, we're gonna get it all back. Yeah. So over the next ten years, there's going to be more advances in the monetary policies from our industry than the last one hundred years of central banks. Yes. And what? Let me let me explain what what he, what he means by that. Right. A lot of the the um, innovation right um, is has been like suppressed in the financial. Uh, industry and the reason why is because it's built up on top of lies 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 right and scam on top of scam right so to create any kind of uh, innovation right you have to like make it plug it into the fraud and so it makes it difficult to do so and of course they don't want you to do so and so innovation does is it stagnates in in our in the financial industry Right, um, credit cards, right, have are, are are an old technology that's trying to be crammed into the, the to the website into internet technology, which is new technology, and it's not working. Um, I've recently tried to purchase something, uh, just groceries here, um, uh, in Dubai with my credit card. All of my credit cards, from the one from Chile, Canada, uh, U.S., and wherever other than Dubai, nothing, nothing worked. Right? They all failed. It was like ridiculous. It was so funny because they verified who I was, right? It was funny. They verified who I was through uh, like an SMS text message and an email and then declined the purchase. <laughs> I love it. Gotta love it. Gotta love our banking system. Alrighty. Okay. Uh, you know what? I got some really bad news here this is really scary news the swedish government has found the ceo of bitcoin right and they are going to make sure that he regulates bitcoin he does the, the follows their regulation wait wait a tick <laughs> there is no bitcoin ceo there's nobody that they can force to regulate bitcoin Wait a second here. How's that possible? But somehow they say, you know, so there's a good reason to believe that regulation will happen because, hey, you know what? There's a lot of money here, a lot of interest. Money laundering could come into play. <laughs> wow. No clue. No clue. They actually have no clue over there. Uh, they're going to get a wake up call because, like, dude, man, it's math. It's math. You can't shoot it. You can't put it in jail. Right? You can't see it. You can't touch it. You can't taste it. Right? If somebody has some Bitcoin, it's over. Let it go. <laughs> Let go your regulation nonsense. Right? You're going to try and regulate people, who, the, the corporations that use Bitcoin, but that's about it. Nothing else you're going to be regulating. Bitcoin will be used uh, no matter what. All right. Well, um, oh, wow. I'm going to check into this electronic vehicle that's capable of mining Bitcoins, which was announced. I, I want to find out more about this, this car. Um, who knows? You know what? I, I think because we're in the early stages of, of, um, of Bitcoin's um, adoption as money, it's too early to, 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 uh, to say, okay, yeah, um, it's now money. No, it's not just yet. Um, yes, more and more people are accepting it as money, more, more businesses and more, more people are willing to get paid in Bitcoin. However, it's not 100% there. So that means once it is there, if you have this car and you mine the, the crypto and you end up saving all that crypto, that Bitcoin, I think your, the Bitcoin in the end will be worth thousands times more, uh, well, not maybe thousands, but maybe more than, um, the price of the vehicle that you paid. Um, when you paid for it, uh, should you hold the Bitcoins all the way to the point when Bitcoin is money, which will be probably 10 years from now. So it'd be interesting. We're going to see stories like that um, along the way. All right. Um, 
let's see here. I want this is this is a, this is a story I want to talk about because it's very big. It's huge. It's massive. Colossal. Basel three threatens to break a derivatives market in June. Okay, I've seen, I've read this before. I remember reading this before um, when Basel three was first written, and it was a long time ago. Um, and yeah, we were all like getting all excited, right? Can't wait until this time for when it, when Basel three comes in. Uh, it's it's yes yes if they follow the rules, but keep in mind. What happened in Basel II? Well, what happened was, what happened was, <laughs> nobody could follow Basel II. So they had to come up with Basel III. <laughs> so, so uh, don't get too excited, right? Um, if I get it, I get it, right? If we head over to like what I sent this to Lee, and I did get excited when I saw this, right? But. Because keep in mind, this is all true, but remember, um, the banks could just ignore Basel III and um, say, listen, we can't do it. And uh, and then would they have to go with Basel IV. <laughs> so uh, keep that in mind. Okay, so the unallocated goal sometimes is estimated to exist as 101 ratio to physical available de for delivery. Silver is like 3,001, which is insane. Yes. This is all true, um, and you can say, well, wait a second, why are people just going, I want my gold? Well, the problem is, right, when you do that, right, at these uh, bullion banks and so forth, like, for example, Pax Gold. Let me give you an example of Pax Gold. When you buy gold from them, there's no limit the amount of gold that you can buy from them. I mean, if you need a million dollars, it's instant, right, because it's just paper gold. Um, but, or a billion dollars, let's say, it's instant. You have a billion dollars worth of Pax Gold like that. The reason why it's, it's it, it, you have that is because of, you know, the ratio, the 101 ratio. So they just go, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we, we got the gold here. It's not actually here, but it's here. <laughs> and, uh, and, and then, um, of course, what happens is if, like, oh, well, I want to deliver on that gold. Okay, sir, but we can't give you the gold we have got here. You're going to have to go into the open market to get some of that gold, right? So you're going to have to sell your, your gold here, your, your paper gold, and go buy physical gold because we can't give you that. And Pax Gold will do that for you, right? They won't do you a billion dollars worth because they can't source that much, right? They'll tell you, well, we can't source that, right? And so that's the problem. So when we, uh, when, when, you know, for example, the Wall Street bets tried to, uh, uh, you know, break the silver market, they can't because um, they will not deliver on the silver. They'll just tell you to go into the open market and then everybody's already in the open market and then there is no gold or silver. There's no silver to buy, right? And that's exactly what's going to happen. There'll be plenty of paper silver to buy. Oh, plenty, plenty, and at, at a discount. <laughs> <laughs> at a discount okay so but uh that's the way our markets work this link did not work because you know everybody was following to it so it was a cool link it stopped working because like it probably crashed the website with a number of people um following into that but keep in mind right if you don't believe this right uh this uh morgan stanley settles the class action suit right um for oh wow thanks uh i was looking for this for a long time uh right and uh yeah they they said that uh they told their their clients that they were well, uh, holding silver for them but really they weren't any silver and same over here right and ubs and basically right this is they've said that this is industry standard practice right well we did nothing wrong this is industry standard practice to like take your money and not uh, standard there it is standard industry practices there it is we've done nothing wrong here nothing so yeah they um, this is this is normal right if you if you don't believe it right here's the evidence they're doing it to you it is standard 
industry practice. <laughs> okay. Standardized. <laughs> Standardized fraud. <laughs> All right. And so if you think they stopped because they got sued, all right, there's no hope for you. Uh, <laughs> all right, well, uh, thank you all. I'm having too much fun. I have to get into the, the question and answers period for uh, my Pandora's wallet subscribers and the DaVinci J15 subscribers. So make sure if you want to be a part of the Q&A and also the, the behind the scenes, uh, you, you can jump in uh, and join DaVinci J, join us at DaVinciJ15.com and subscribe and you could be a part of it so it'd be cool i hope to see you there all right thanks for watching and remember bitcoin's real bitcoin's here to stay and you need to be a part of it cheers <laughs>